Yeah, I'm here now uh, close to Visegrad. It, uh, it's already uh, these uh, facilities I described to you. It was unfortunately a very tragic place where sexual violence against women was part of the methodology of the Bosnian Serbs. This was one center. It's a typical uh, ex-Yugoslavian spa center as you have in Bresovica and in Kolasin. They built all the same. And it's a typical spa center in a very nice uh, setting actually. It's a very mountainous, beautiful setting here, just 10 kilometers above. Visegrad and uh, the idea was like a kurort yeah. and that's uh, really very good but unfortunately during the war it was then abused uh, as a rape center for the Bosnian Serb soldiers and the political elite and the shocking thing is that Peter Handke, the Nobel Prize uh, laureate, he wanted to be here when he was invited by Milosevic or Karacic or all his Yugoslavian Bosnian Serbs genocidal friends yeah. and then he stayed here and the came, he knew already of the history of that one and it's very outrageous yeah he's very outrageous man in many aspects but especially his uh, speech at the funeral of milosevic and his uh, denial of the srebrenica genocide is extremely annoying he is in this whatever kind of yugoslavian love with socialism and titoism and then he is blinded uh, towards uh, the war criminal milosevic and his uh, genocidal activities in bosnia kosovo and then he got the Nobel Prize, uh, you cannot believe it. And then the Austrian left and even uh, Kurz, of course, yeah, he was, everything was popular, was good for him. And he, they all celebrated Peter Handke, a uh, really terrible personality and a genocide denier who should be prosecuted by the Austrian authorities and uh, should definitely not come uh, to uh, Kosovo. <laughs> he would have been on Bergkamp for sure, but he's hiding now somewhere in France and doesn't take any media interviews. But I wanted to come here to show you the facility and also this uh, tragic uh, history of this place. It might one day be an international five-star hotel, but in that present condition it's really very miserable place and uh, same miserable as its past of uh, uh, harboring genocidal rapists uh, from the Bosnian Serb uh, militia. A tragic place, there are many of them, but only Peter Handke wanted to choose not the Hotel Visegrad, but this uh, Kur Hotel here with this tragic history. And you know why? Because he fits exactly in that category. And that's very tragic. Peter Handke should not be receiving any state honors anywhere anymore, but he should be prosecuted for violence and for uh, genocidal denial. That's absolutely the fact. Good the violence against women I have talked already about in this video but also in Kosovo please uh, see my last visit in Kosovo where I showed you the monument we met now in Sarajevo also this group of activists uh, to of uh, women who were victims of sexual violence and that's a huge topic also in Ukraine now and you see the same pattern now repeating what we have seen in Bosnia three years of constant sexual violence against uh, Bosnian women and then against Kosovo women now against Ukraine women it's a tragedy and we should punish that very hard and all the people should be prosecuted who do that commit that and everybody who is then uh, going in such a hotel as a European Nobel plus uh, uh, laureate uh, should be also punished for basically condoling violence against women and uh, this immoral activity and this criminal activity should be definitely condemned. Thanks a lot from this tragic place. More to come from Pax Europeana. Bye.